and that is basically your feet hand movements and weight shift on a roll tack without letting go of your tiller and facing forward Hey guys, this is Lee here. And in this video, I'm gonna go over different ways how to tack your sunfish. And this could be used in any small boat, whether it be an Opti, a Laser, or an RS Arrow, or even bigger boats too. So in this video, I'm going to be going over several different tacks, from slow tacks to fast tacks. It's really important to know the skills that are in this video. Stick around for the whole end of the video and you'll get the information. So let's get right into it. This is how to tack a sailboat. You wanna be going forward with some speed. The slower you are, the harder it is to tack the boat. So Will here is going pretty fast and so he's just reaching. He gently pushed the tiller towards the sail. Now that's the key. You wanna be pushing the tiller towards the sail cause the boat will head up and then the boom will cross. Then you could see Will ducking underneath the boom until the sail starts to fill on the other side. When the boom is moving across, then you should be moving across also. And then when you're on the other side, straighten out the tiller and trim in the mainsail to fill in the sail. It's that simple. Now that is a very basic tack. If you wanted to know the details and hand positions, foot positions, weight placement, and step-by-step -step details of a roll tack, you could skip all the way to the end of the video and I go over every small detail that you wanna know. So a tack is when a boat turns into the wind when the front of the boat or the bow goes across the wind. So you'll be on the one tack, which is starboard or port, and you'll end up on the other tack, which is port or starboard. Now, one thing you need to know with this is a tack changes direction. So you could zigzag all the way up to your destination. The second thing to know is when you tack, you need momentum. You can go slow, but it helps if you go as fast as you can because the sailboat is relatively slow. If you're standing at a dead stop, you can't tack. You need to trim in your sails, fall off the wind a little bit, get moving, and then you can tack. Now the difference between a tack and a jibe is that a tack goes through the wind, like I said, with the front of the boat, but a jibe turns away from the wind and generally the sail moves across faster when you're on a jibe. But this video, we're going to concentrate mainly on tacks. I'm on port tack, which means the wind is coming over the port side of the boat and I'm tacking, pushing the tiller towards the sail. And then as the boom comes across, I'm ducking and then I'm moving over. Now, sometimes the boat tips and I anticipate that and I use my weight to flatten it out. I wanted to line up next to a boat, so I found my spot, I did a slow tack, and then I wanted to hold my position. So when you tack, which is pushing the tiller towards the sail, you will be moving across when the boom goes under. I balance out the boat and I let the sail go, and that stops me, and I just sit there and float, holding my position. Now, why is it important to be able to know when and how to tack is because sometimes you're in a marina and you have to put your boat exactly where it is. Now, as you can see here, Peter, who won the day, he was ahead and he just wanted to do a conservative tack. So he didn't do a rail to rail where the boat is tilting left and, you know, from port to starboard, or starboard to port. And he just got around the mark nice and quickly, but the key is he did it nice and smooth so he didn't lose that much distance. And when the wind is this heavy, it doesn't take that much to do a quick tack. As the winds are lighter, probably need to roll tack a little bit more aggressively if you're worried about losing distance. But that white sail, I needed to get in front of that white sail and so there was only a couple of boat lengths and so I had to be confident that I know I could tack in front of that white sail without hitting them. So in this situation I did a 
nice smooth tack not too aggressive just to make sure because I knew I had enough room to complete my tack I've done hundreds and hundreds of tacks so after a while you kind of get used to it and how long it will take oh that's John so I'm following John John Modica so I'm following John Modica down to the finish I couldn't pass him down wind so we just jived and we finish at the race committee boat that's Pete and then I end the race with a slow tack and just rest Remember you need momentum, meaning you have to be going forward. And don't go from the sail way out. If you're going slow and the sail's way out, you're not gonna be able to tack. So if you push the tiller over, you're gonna stop, and you're gonna end up in irons. So the best thing to do is trim your sail, get moving, the sail is closer to your boat and has less distance to travel. And then once you're moving, then you push the tiller towards the sail nice and smooth. And then it comes over. You switch sides and this one I let go of the tiller so that's one way you can go a slow tack letting go to the tiller what's nice about that slow tack going into the tiller is that you don't have to do this fancy behind your back stuff but the disadvantage of letting go of the tiller is sometimes you can't find it you're moving around and if there's traffic involved or if there's boats around or people then you might lose control for a few seconds so I always advocate not letting go of your tiller. So I let go of the tiller there. I'm looking for it, fishing around, and I find it. And then when you're fishing around for it, sometimes you're going like this, or you might look for it, and now you're not facing forward where you're actually going. So it's a little bit more risky to do that. Now, another way that people will end up tacking is when they push the, the tiller towards the sail, they don't face forward and then they rotate backwards and then they end up on the other side and they grab the, the tiller with their new hand. Totally works. But there's advantage to that. One advantage is you don't have to do the fancy behind the back thing. And uh, two, it could be comfortable for you. And sometimes it's more natural. However, uh, the disadvantages are you're not facing forward. So if there's someone in the way or bulkhead or a boat you're losing sight of that two you might be facing backwards and at the same time you might be like going forward and you can't see so you might lose control you might hit something and the third disadvantage that I found in this situation that as you're turning you're kind of doing like some your feet end up being like a blender and then you get a bunch of spaghetti in your teeth so now I'm looking down trying to figure this out and if you're trying to go fast it's not it's not generally a fast way to do it now a lot of times you want to be going to a destination and you want to go to the shortest distance by going to the shortest distance you want to be on the lifted tack meaning that's you're pointing towards the mark as close as you can the wind shifts the wind shifts left it shifts right it goes up and down with velocity sometimes you can't point exactly towards the mark but you want to be able to see it by just looking forward. Now, if the wind shifts to the point where it's starting to push you away from the mark, and then it might even backwind your sail, that's called sailing into a header or hitting a header or you're being headed. So when you're being headed and you're going upwind, sometimes you want to tack. Now, this is an example of hitting this header. I always am looking at the front part of the sail, which is called the luff and if i'm sailing steady and sailing in a straight line and not pinching sometimes that luff will backwind as you see here as it's pointing out and if it continually backwinds i'm always thinking about maybe i need to tack see how it backwinds there it'll do it again and that'll help you sail the shortest distance now there's certain situations, especially in racing, where you need to tack faster, maybe more aggressively, to get the boat turned as fast as possible. That's done generally with what's called a roll tack. What a roll tack does, it makes the boat tack faster through the tack versus just a tack where it doesn't roll and the boat just stays on the same plane. But when you roll it from side to side, it takes some practice to do it right. 
you lose less speed into the tack going through the wind and then flattening the boat. You lose less speed. So here I'm looking around and I'm really confused because Peter and I basically sailed the wrong course. So I was going to think about tacking across. I put my centerboard down and I kind of half tacked. So that technically was not a tack. If you know why technically that's not a tack, leave a comment down below. So instead of tacking back towards the fleet, I did a jibe, sailed a little bit longer. Again, the jibe turns away from the wind. The first thing you want to be doing is to go as fast as you can when you're sailing. And you have to prepare to tack. So make sure your lines are clear, they're going to run correctly, and if you have any crew on the board, or if you have any people on board, you ask them or you let them know ready to tack. And if someone's not ready, they might get hit uh, in the head with the boom or they might fall off the boat. So make sure every, everyone's ready to tack. You could say, oh, ready to tack or ready about. But this is generally the most common ways to do it. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down, down in the comment section down below. If you like this content, please smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. And now I'm gonna go over the mechanics of a tack, especially a roll tack. And I have this, this setup here with a, an invisible sail, which is this, this special farer sail that's a, a fourth generation. You can't get it yet. I'm missing my Aero South main sheet hang. You have to use your imagination a little bit because I don't have a full setup here. I have my forward hand right here. This is, I'm on starboard tack because the wind is coming from the right side. So when the wind is coming from over the right side, over the starboard side, I'm on starboard tack going upwind because I'm kind of close hauled here because my boom is close to the, to the corner here. Now when you tack, you want to push your tiller towards the sail. When you push the tiller towards the sail, the boom will move across and I duck. Now see how it's over like here? When I duck, now I shift and I, a lot of people stand up, a lot of people slide their butt over. I'm just gonna rotate on my feet like I'm doing the twist and put my butt right here. Now you kind of have your steering hand in back of you. Now this is one way to do it. I could also let go of the tiller, which I don't like but then I'm going to have to face backwards to grab it. But it, that does work, but I don't like doing that personally. So that's one way to do it. And then you just switch hands, and now um, my forward arm is on the, my port arm, my left arm, and the wind is now coming over the left side. To do a roll tack, you have to be able to steer behind you a little bit. So that means you're not letting go of the tiller and you're not letting go of your main sheet. I'll go over to the mechanics right now. So I'm sailing fast and I'm going straight. When I'm ready to tack, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the roll, I'm just gonna do the tiller and the main sheet movements. So I push the tiller towards the sail and that's gonna head the boat up into the wind and the boom's gonna come across. Now as the boom's gonna come across, it's gonna come across here. Then I do the same thing. I shift my weight on my feet and just rotate. Now I'm on the new tack, but now I didn't let go of my tiller, but now I'm steering behind me. So I could steer like this. Now how, this is awkward after a while, but after a second or two, I'm gonna show a change and I'll show you how to do that. My starboard hand is now in back of, of my back and I, I'm gonna have to like steer behind me, which is fine, but now I'm trimming with the back hand. So now I'm like doing one of these things. So now to fix that, people are really confused on how to do this. So without letting go of your main sheet, what you do is you wanna reach back. I grab my tiller all the way down here. And once I grab it with my left hand, now my right hand, my other hand, is free to come back to its natural position in front. And then I grab the main sheet at the block. And I'll show you reason why for that. And then I flip the, the extension back like that. Do it again, like this. Now it's in front of me, now I'm gonna sail. Now I'm like normal. 
Now, the reason why you want to grab it at the block is because if you notice, the boom is a little bit further out. When you tack, you want to let ease off your boom a little bit further and don't trim it in. You trim it in about 80% after the tack. The reason for that is you're going to be flattening boat when you sit back down and at the same time you want to gently trim. That will give you more acceleration on your new tack. One of the other reasons why you want to grab it at the block is because you know that your main sheet is at the block. If I grab it down here, I might be missing it. Now this is the key to the switch of the hands. I'm going to slide my hand, not letting go of the main sheet, but I'm supporting the main sheet. Like it's between my index finger and thumb, or it could be between your hand like this, and then grab the tiller. And then once you grab the tiller here, your right hand then moves to the block and grabs the main sheet. So I grab it at the block so I can trim it in more, and I flip the tiller over here. Sometimes, if you're hiking out, you could flip it up and down, or even underneath your arm. Depends how long your tiller extension is. My tiller extension is pretty long, so I usually do it just kind of like over my shoulder. And that is basically your feet, hand movements, and weight shift on a roll tack without letting go of your tiller and facing forward. Now, if you like that content, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're looking for more sunfish and sailing information, check out this video right here.